are available to anyone who ever reaches to really find out. So, this is the next logical stop, the bookstore. Looks like we'll have to wait a minute. Ron's books are very popular. Ah, the public executive secretary. Yes, these good people want to know about Ron's books. Ah, source materials. They're very popular. Yes, I told them that. They're here to find answers. Well, that's what Ron's materials contain, the answers. Man's been looking for them for an eternity, and there they are. Ah, riches. That's a lot of titles. Ron wrote about 275 books and pamphlets on Dianetics and Scientology, all of them bestsellers. Over 65 million copies sold in all. Could you tell us where Dianetics fits in? Dianetics burst upon the world and reformed the field of mental science. Book one summarizes Ron's researches prior to 1950, but even now, decades later, it tops the list. This is the first time in publishing history that a book has continued for years to be a bestseller. Is Dianetics outmoded then? Oh no. Ron modernized it in 1968, and in the late 70s, developed and released New Era Dianetics. Uh -huh. What is the difference then between Dianetics and Scientology? Ron clarified that, and I have the issue right here. Dianetics is further redefined as what the soul is doing to the body. Scientology is further redefined as the study and handling of the spirit in relationship to itself, universes, and other life. Thank you. Now I'm sure our audience would like to know what beginning books you'd care to recommend. There are several of great interest that you should have. One is the evolution of a science. Another is a new slant on life. And the problems of work. Very useful. Then, the fundamentals of thought. Also, Scientology Zero to Eight, the Book of Basics. With a small glossary of tech and admin terms. And, I will add personally, from me to you, your very own copy of The Way to Happiness. So, I would recommend that you get this package for a start. Shouldn't they also get a copy of Dianetics, The Modern Science of Mental Health? Of course, then they'll see the adventure of it. And they're at liberty to buy any of these books. They'll want to own them sooner or later anyway. You can also get Ron's books through any major bookstore, but usually they only have his current bestsellers on hand. They can order them for you, but so can we. Just let the LRH communicator know if you have any trouble getting Ron's books. They sell out pretty fast. You should know that there are several different types of Scientology organization. Each is totally and legally independent from the others, even within its own type of activity. There are Dianetic and Scientology groups, and Scientology missions, and churches, which can train auditors up to Class 5. There are also higher level organizations, and Flag Land Base, and Flagship, the highest organizations in the world. All of these organizations are independent of one another, connected only by ecclesiastical bonds. But you can go to higher level organizations as you progress to higher levels of training or case. Now I'm going to give you some tips on how to get around in an organization, normally referred to as the org. It's usually a friendly place. Here you can often find new friends to share your interests in life. In a big org, there is usually a Department 21 called the Office of L. Ron Hubbard. I see that you have a very nice office here for Ron. Yes, indeed. 
Tell me, why is that? Well, when he was executive director, he traveled a lot. So he had an office in each org. Now all churches of Scientology have an office for Ron. Mm. It is a symbol that we are on source. That is true to his writings and ideals. So, how does your post fit in? As the LRH communicator, it is my job to ensure that this organization stays on source. So, L. Ron Hubbard had communicators? Oh yes, all over the world. Our post titles originated before Ron resigned as executive director in 1966, and we're proud to carry them forward as a tradition. I see. And after he resigned? Ron continued his research and writing. Others formed these organizations. Executives and staff run them. We bought him time so he could research and write. And that's how he could get these done. Ah, yes. The word founder means originator or author. I see. Then who owns the books now? Ron gave the copyrights of all his writings to a special Church of Scientology to guarantee that the materials of Dynex and Scientology would never be exploited by any one individual, but are available for the benefit of all. Mm. And to ensure that his works were used correctly and never altered, he established the Religious Technology Center and gave to it the trade and service marks of Dynex and Scientology. This means that public, like you, Receive the Dynex and Scientology Ron intended. Ron is very much with us in spirit. Man has never had a better friend. These priceless books contain the written record of Ron's researches. They mean everything to man's future. So we are the keepers and appliers of the revelations. We make certain the work is used and is used right. This org is our contribution. To continue, you'd probably like to see Scientology in action. So we will pay a call on the Director of Processing. Excuse me. Could you please tell these good people what auditing is all about? Of course. Please, have a seat. Thank you. It's about case game, that's what. Now these graphs are done before and after a person has received 12 and a half hours of auditing, or what we call an intensive. These are personality traits. These were what they were before the person received auditing. And these show how they were improved. Also, the person's IQ or intelligence increased, and he became 14 points brighter. Now, here's another person. This shows progressive gain at the end of each of three intensives. And this shows how intelligence improved. Here's one with four intensives. And we see how each series of 12 and a half hours improved him. With that increase in IQ, he must be finding it much easier to solve his problems. And this personality improvement must be making it far easier to get along in life. <laughs> that is very impressive. 19th century psychology didn't even think that was possible. Ron was invited to the White House one time to show what Scientology could do. And the two psychologists there nearly fainted when they saw graphs like these. They said it would revolutionize the whole field of mental practice. In other words, do them out of their cushy government jobs. Uh. Does that mean that Scientology and psychology are similar? Oh, no. But it shows you what happens when you address the spirit, not the brain. Even the theory of evolution has never proven that something else isn't making it all happen. Psychology and psychiatry are proven failures. Stone Age. You seem to have it in for psychology and psychiatry. On this post of director of processing, I sometimes see the damage that they do. Worse than that, they lie and seek to block the way for real advances. With government support, they are injuring man's future. It makes it harder to pull man out when such criminals have government billions to push him deeper into the mud. And with their emphasis on drugging and punishing people just makes our job tougher, that's all. And don't they attack the church? When you think of what Dianetics